at Bucharest, Romania. Mr. John Lazar, Vice President and General Manager, International Program of OSCOS, is very kind to give us a short interview. Mr. Lazar, we know that your company intends to participate in the next tender organized by the Romanian Minister of National Defense for purchase of light armored vehicles. The competition is tough. The competitors present high performance vehicles that are compatible with NATO climate. In your opinion, please, what are the advantages of Oshkosh over other competitors? Well, Neil, thank you so much for taking the time to visit Oshkosh Defense. We're honored and humbled to be here in Romania. I think Oshkosh Defense offers a very unique value proposition for Romania. And that value proposition is around three pillars. First of all, the pillar of cost. Oshkosh Defense has produced over 16,000 trucks, joint light tactical vehicles to date. We're on contract for over 20,000 trucks. So we understand how to make light tactical trucks, protected light tactical trucks. The second pillar I would say is mobility. The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle offers unprecedented mobility. It's based on a monocoque capsule. That monocoque capsule uh, has an independent suspension with a wheel travel of over a half meter. So the vehicle can move at over 113 kilometers per hour over extremely rough terrain. So second, I would say mobility. Third, I would say it's our blast and ballistic protection. No one has tested the blast and ballistic protection like our joint light tactical vehicle has when we won the U.S. Army competition. So this vehicle, a light tactical truck, offers MRAP levels of protection. Okay. Mr. Lazar, does currently have industrial suppliers or uh, representative in Romania? Which are these companies? Well, thank you for asking about our, our Romanian partners. Oshkosh looks, looks forward to cooperating with the indigenous capabilities of the Romanian defense industry. Specifically, since 2021, we have had a memorandum of understanding with Romar, specifically uh, Morani. And we have, we have taken the time to, to uh, review and inspect their facilities to understand their capabilities and the capabilities that we can leverage in order uh, to provide the best product for Romania. What opportunities have you identified for enlargement of industrial cooperation with Romania? Are these opportunities conditional on winning the tender? Well, I won't get into the, uh, I mean, I won't get into the specifics of who our partners are and what we would make with them. I believe that's business competitive information. But we look forward to uh, expanding our relationship beyond Romarm. We have several agreements with other companies that I can't talk about right now, and we are always looking for indigenous capabilities for the region. As you probably know, Oshkosh Defense is in seven NATO countries with the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. And we're always looking for opportunities to support local industry for those seven NATO countries that have the JLTV. Uh, could you tell me more specific about uh, the country which are interested in your uh, vehicles? Oh, uh, Emil, it's more than interest. We've had we've had several countries already buy the joint light tactical vehicles, all the way from the Baltics down to Romania. Let's focus first on Romania. We're honored and humbled that the Romanian Special Forces has decided to buy 34 joint light tactical vehicles. And we expect, uh, given the current situation on your border, that there'll be additional requirements for our truck. And then if we head all the way to the Baltics, Lithuania has already uh, said that they were gonna buy 200 of our trucks. They, uh, 100 have already been delivered. The Slovenians, uh, uh, North Macedonia, in Montenegro as well. How important is tradition in your company for the future of Oshkosh? Well, that, that's a great question because I think the Oshkosh culture is based on tradition. In, in uh, 1917, our company was formed by two immigrants who came to Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is a very 
uh, rural and rustic area, forests, agriculture, and they came up with the idea of an all-wheel drive truck. And they thought, this is great. We'll be able to work in the fields, we'll be able to haul the logs, and they took this idea and patented it. Well, what do you do with an automobile patent at, in 1917? You go to Detroit, where you try to sell that patent. And all the automotive uh, companies said, no, we don't want it. No one's going to want an all-wheel drive truck. They were, redu they were rejected over 52 times by the automobile industry. So these, these two hardworking gentlemen came back to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and said, you know what, we're going to start our own company. So in 1917, they started Oshkosh Corporation with the all-wheel drive truck, and that's where we are today. And I believe that grit and determination, that tradition, exists today in our company culture. Mr. Vice President Lazar, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you very much.